Hello everybody and today I am back with Title Tuesday once again. How is everybody doing? Hope you are doing well. Let's have fun and let's go. Once again, how is everybody doing? Hope okay. you are doing well. I don't know what this calling I don't know what's that. I haven't streamed in three weeks, so maybe if something added, I don't know what has been added. You cannot call in to join your own stream. I mean, that makes sense that I cannot join my own stream, but I'm not sure what it means. Welcome, everybody. How are you doing? Mm, yeah. 400 players. Doesn't seem like much, but still four minutes until the start. So maybe we will get like 600 or 700. Not sure. But maybe we'll have like 570, but likely that we will get over 600, like 630 or something. Hey, Pookie. Hey, Karmar. I don't know what this knock feature is, guys. Um, if you do not let me know. So, excited to know, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, how is the sound? I think it's fine, because before the stream started, it seemed like the uh, the, thing, the the microphone turned off. So I had to connect the device to it. But I think it's fine. Okay, that's nice. How are you doing, Carmen Puki? What's up? Quite a long time no see, actually. I think three weeks or something. Or two weeks. Hold on. I streamed on 30th, so I did on 16th and 13th. Okay, just two weeks. Okay. Seemed a lot more, honestly. I mean, okay, it's technically it was three weeks since the last Title Tuesday, but I haven't played two Title Tuesdays, you know? That's, that's a bit uh, illogical, but it is logical. Okay. Four eighty four. Yeah, we will get six thirty. I think that's my prediction that we'll have six hundred thirty players in the tournament. Four nine two. I mean, that actually looks like very little compared to other title Tuesdays. I think you were at like five thirty at this time, but I'm not sure. Uh, okay, you can close that. This post stream is post here. By the way, thanks to Anonymous Gifter for gifting two, two, uh, two times two gifted subs on last title Tuesday and two title and uh, two weeks ago to a community. I'm not sure who got them, but I appreciate it, Anonymous Gifter. So 14 days and seven days ago. Okay, one and a half minutes, and we are just with 500 players. That looks like way too little. I'm not sure where everybody is, because I don't think there is any major tournaments. I mean, okay, there is Abu Dhabi Masters or something, I think, right now. So maybe some people are there. But not like 200 people, I feel like, should be there. Didn't see where the events are. Mm. My events there. German Championship. But Blue Baum is here, Swan is here. Oh, wait, did I see some... Uh, German flag? No. So Frederick. Okay, two Germans are here. But we are not even getting 600, are we? Uh, no, but this isn't today. Okay, this is in three rounds. Yeah. This starts in... Ah, there will be speeches. Oh, no, the site will choose the goodness. I can't read. Okay, we are not even hitting 600 people, guys. That's, 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 uh, I don't know how to even say it. That's quite a shame. Uh, okay, there is French Championship, Akiba Rubinstein Memorial. Okay. 570! That's really, really, really terrible. Not even 700 players. Not even 600 players. Wow. 579. We are not even getting 600. Maybe not even 590, actually. 583. 583, 586. We are not even at 590 players. That's a lot. That's too little, I mean. Okay. Black in the first round. To adjust my pieces. And let's go. 
or boring guy. D5, bishop, D5, oops. Let's get used to my mouse. Bishop G4 is better than castles, actually. Ninety five. Stick an F six. Bishop six, I may take his. Okay, he doesn't go for Bishop six, and I go Rook eight. I, I thought I could either take or with the Queen or with the Pawn. Boost looked fine there. Maybe I should get my bishop, but then he gets uh, he gets ninety five. Ninety five take ninety seven queen d six. Ah, I have queen f five, queen f five, rook f five, knight of eight. I take the queen, queen e two. I take the knight. Yes, yeah, so this queen e two, like queen e six. I was thinking, and then like knight of five, c six, c so c five. Maybe ninety six, ninety four, knight c four. If Z, oops, my goodness, I had barely draw arrows. If Bishop F4, I take an F4 hangs. Now, yeah, Knight F5 for sure. Now, either something like this, so this can be an idea. The idea is if is queen e5. You cannot take because the bishop is spinning the pawn. I'm not sure how good it is though. That's the only the only downside because I'm not a hundred percent sure if it works or not. If it doesn't if it does it's good. If it doesn't it's bad, you know. Yeah, king h1. Here I was thinking I could simply perhaps take and go rook f8. I mean, I think he has to take a four. Uh -huh. And rook f8. Here, king h8, and like c5. My bishop is terrible, so I gotta bring it back to the game. Maybe I can do it with c5 or c6. Maybe even bishop a5, but it looks a bit strange. Um, yeah. And king h8 is a must. Probably rook e1, and then I'm not sure whether I play c6 or c5. Or something else even. Because he said yes like knight d3 and queen e5. So maybe I should simply go c6. Do not give a, a target for him on c5. I mean, ID3, I think, is a move he will play. Uh, yes, he does. Right when I say that. <laughs> um, on a queen d6, rook e7 looks pretty annoying. Um, maybe queen f6 and he gets rook e7.
Okay, no rook e7 since queen of 3 and after queen e5 we're planning to go queen g7. If take take rook e7, king g8 or something, and then like rook f3, rook c3. Or not. Yes, rook e7, knight e5. That's a bit unpleasant. Uh, but maybe after rook e7, okay, he does that. That's a nice move, actually. That's a really nice move. Hmm. I was thinking maybe I can go bishop a5 then. <clears throat> Attacking c3. I do left check. Transition. I mean, I think I gotta activate my king. Hold on, that loses a pawn. Safe pre move. Yeah. in the port, c3, <clears throat> um, uh-huh, mm -hmm. this is a appreciate it, I think I'm in time, okay, that's one step, yeah, I think that was a decent game, I'm not sure if he was perfect, no, it was fine, Thank you, Logan, for 27 months at year one. How are you doing? <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my voice. Why is it like... Uh, you can barely hear it. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, let's try to speak louder. Let me know if it's too loud. Yeah. Thanks, Armar. 93.5, that's nice. Book, book, book. Okay, here it was slightly better. G5 was the best. Okay, okay. Okay, here, okay. The idea going into G5 wasn't great, uh, but uh, but the G5 move itself was good. So, I mean, technically it's okay, I suppose. And um, then it was dead draw for a while. Then I won a pawn, activated my king. And I play, played the end game pretty well. And end up winning. Good, 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 good. That was nice. Oh, just one game left? Really? Okay, it was, that was a long game for me then. <laughs> I thought it, would, it was quicker than it was. The round starts already. Hmm, okay. Let's go emotionally. Hey, Gage, thank you. Hey, totally, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, the round should start at least now. Yeah. Hmm. Right, e4, mm. let's try e4 chat. Let's try e4 and see what we'll get out of it. <clears throat> I now need to remember what universe I'm playing here. Uh, I, <laughs> I forgot. What am I playing here? 
very peachy. Um, I don't remember what I'm playing here. I'm not an E4 main. <laughs> Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Something like this. Something. Per perhaps this isn't... <coughs> what is this? Perhaps this isn't... Uh, this isn't the... The right uh, move order. But something like this, if I recall correctly. Uh, I think castle is fine. <coughs> and then H... Uh -huh. Maybe castling wasn't fine. Um, yeah, this looks a bit unpleasant. <laughs> I mean, okay, at the very least I have bishop e2, giving away my bishop advantage, who cares, right? h3 was probably better, uh, but he would have bishop h5 there anyway, so eh, I'm not sure how bad it would be. Um, what here? d3, rook e1. Let's go, queen e3, knight e2, knight g3. Yeah, sure. He blocks my bishop, but yet he also has dark square bishop, so not sure if it's better for him. Mm. I'm not sure about g4, it looks a little bit risky. Ah, he gets e6 for his knight, yeah, that's a bit annoying. And the f4 hole is gonna be annoying. I can't help myself but put my knight on f5. <clears throat> okay, king h2. Knight h4, knight g7 looks nasty. King g7, queen f4. If knight h3. Knight h3, I think I can simply. Ooh, knight f5, knight h4, queen f4, ef, knight h6 mate. This is nasty. Look for the ill fall for it. Eh, he goes knight d4. Unfortunate. Um, I cannot, I cannot play c3 since I lose an exchange there. Unfortunate, <laughs> but okay. Um, rook c1 I think is an option. If takes, I'll go here, bishop g5, rook d1, this king g2, seems like this, so king h1. So I have g1, and I should be okay, hopefully. Yeah, takes, rook d1, bishop f4, king h1, knight g7, knight g7, queen f4 idea. If bishop f5 I'm gonna take with the g pawn, so I have the g-file for my rook. f6. Annoying move. It really doesn't want me to do my idea. Let's see. Okay, I think putting my rook on g1 won't hurt much. Um, <clears throat> what if I go h4? Just to try to put some some put up some pressure trying to put up some pressure d5 is his idea so i was thinking about going c4 if b5 takes i want to take with a d pawn um i can try playing bishop to c1 trading off his bishop actually it looks quite nice so that i can Further on, push g5, h5, and g5, or g5 and h5, <clears throat> depending on the move order. I think h5 uh, looks fine, or should I? Maybe I should actually keep my knight and then play h5 and back, and then g5. Because if this, I'm gonna take dc for sure, and he goes h6. So he wants to prevent my idea of h5, g5. Fair enough. Um, Let's go rook g3 because I don't know what else to play. Kind of maybe want to double up, maybe even triple up. Okay, his idea is uh, a4. His idea is a4. Is it scary or not? That's a question. It may be annoying. Uh, but if maybe I am faster, queen g2, a b, c g5. Uh, maybe it's actually, maybe I'm actually faster. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's either that. Or I'm losing a pawn and probably losing the game because d3 will fall and all that stuff. He takes this first, that's smart. Um, 
BC. Oh, and F2 hangs, that's annoying. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, let's go A3, trying to get his rook over to A3. So G5 is an idea, and F2 won't hang. Uh, G5 immediately. How about then he takes an H5? Oof. That's not nice. And I have no time. Okay, let's lock in. I think he can just take. Okay, I'm going. I'm locking in and going all in somewhat. <laughs> this is an idea. I mean, it's somewhat cheap, but maybe. No, he doesn't fall for it. That's unfortunate. Mm, and then just FG. Yeah, the attack looked promising. <laughs> Ended up failing though, unfortunately. Wait a second, chat. Am I swindling? <laughs> I'm swindling. He had to take with the other rook. Rook g7, king h8 is fine, and eight. Uh, no, no, no. He had to play rook f7. My bad. Rook f7, g he simply takes. And rook g3, he takes with this rook, and he's winning. But now I'm winning. Okay, that's chess, chat. <laughs> I ended up playing the game well, but then I ended up being losing, but then I ended up winning, so mad game, but I won. Nice. <laughs> okay, I was lucky. I mean, you can say it was lucky, or you can say there was a great swindle, you know? Definitely not because of a bunter from my opponent. Thanks, John G. Green guys gave me the SM norm, let's go! And that was a terrible game, though. Totally juvenile. Totally juvenile got timed out by Mubot, unfortunately. Ah, you see? Oh, look how well we played! It was so smooth until I was starting to over push. I was dead lost, it was like plus four. Bam! From minus four to plus six! <laughs> Yeah, but we played, I mean, I wouldn't say I played well, but he, he lost and he got 90 accuracy, so if he would lose, he would get like 94. Very well played from both of us, honestly. Uh, so far, Chris Dummy Torch 2, what's up, how you doing? You're pretty early today. I think uh, you were usually at like round 4 or 5, but today you're just at round 2. Welcome, how you doing? There was a need to shout, I disagree. <laughs> yeah, there was a need to shout, for sure. Mubot is a bit... I don't want to be rude, you know, but it's a bit... Uh, I mean... Mm, I don't want to insult my board, you know? I'm not sure if nerdy is a bit of an insult. Because whenever some, someone writes... I'm not sure... No, nerdy isn't the right word, but he's quite... quite. I don't know the word, but he is very, very strict when you write a lot of... Uh, Life and well, that's nice. When you write a lot of capital letters in a row without spaces or anything, or with spaces even, I think you also will time you out. So yeah, he's very strict. Okay, this game is very boring, and this game is boring, but not not so boring. <laughs> you know, it's boring yet there is play. Was I actually rude calling Mubot strict? Or do you, do you mean that nerdy is a rude uh, word, you know? I'm not sure. Sorry, Mubot, if I hurt your feelings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we gotta praise the almighty. The almighty Mubot chat. <laughs> you gotta praise him or you'll get timed out. Ah, Mubot is rude, okay. Whew, I'm not rude. Let's go. Guys, praise the almighty Mubot. Oh, I made it three! No! 
<laughs> they were so close to drawing. No way, 69. They were literally two moves away from a draw. Or like three or whatever. They were three moves away from a draw and they ended up fluttering, mate. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. What? I wrote E, but it says announce. Hello. E and A are different letters. Twitch. Wake up. Okay, black pieces. If Cozio, perhaps? Or no? Or no Cozio for me today. Okay, good. Promising beginning. Promising start. Don't you... Ah! Boring four-nighter. Oh god, I hate this. It's just a draw! It's even more drawn than Catalan! <laughs> okay, chat. Let's try to grind it out. Uh, uh, let's... Ah! Ah! Mmm! Bishop c5 immediately was better, wasn't it? Huh. Bishop c5, this queen e7, queen g7, rook g8, queen h6. I don't know how it looks. It looks complicated, to say the least. Ah, but I'm winning there. Yeah, go ahead. Come on! Gifted robot and gifted sub! <laughs> That's Karma 78 gifted sub. Thank you, Karma. Now, Mubot can also send my emotes while timing out people. W's in the chat, guys! Oh, well, you cannot write W's because emote only chat. Ah, uh, but okay. After the game, we need W's in the chat for Mubot getting the sub. I think this is like his third time getting a gifted sub. Mubot is is uh, profiting of of, <laughs> of of viewers for for timing out people. I mean, I wouldn't mind honestly timing out people and then getting subs for it. You know, lucky guy, lucky guy, and Poké Bra, thirty eight pounds a tier one, appreciate it. And we have a hype change height. Guess did I mix up? Guys in chat and say, I don't know what I said, but I mixed up guys in chat. They said like, chais or something. I don't know what I said. I'm not good at talking and playing. I am terrible at multitasking. Did I say multitasking? Okay, chat. You see, I am terrible at talking and playing. That's what 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 I was trying to tell you. I'm bad at mul not multi. I'm bad at multitasking. Uh, yeah. Woo! Crash dummy! 13 months at tier 1, appreciate it! It's already a year and a month! Thank you so much, Crash dummy. I mean, that's not the most entertaining commentary is it I mean I was thinking is I take and be greedy but then I thought ED he has knight f5 if I take this I lose an exchange this he takes I don't win a pawn and I only want to win a pawn and now I go here queen d7 so if he takes I take on e5 if he takes I take on d5 and I just gonna go rook g bishop h2 and crush him you know or he takes z if he lets me so we'll see we'll see what will happen out of this hopefully something good okay cd for sure and here, that's actually a difficult decision. Bishop e5 looks interesting because if if I play f takes e, I'm closing my bishop. But it maybe only in the long run, since I get e4 idea. Then he gets rook d1, e4, knight e4, d, rook d7, ef. And then I'm chilling. So I'm gonna go fe. I think e4 works. I think it works, hopefully. And if I if it works then I go root g8, well we'll see what I'll cook there. Uh, D, am I missing something? Root d7 ef. Take take I'm a piece up, no? This I take. I think Logan! 500 pins, appreciate it! Level 2 hydrogen, thank you so much guys. Wait a sec. Eh? Okay, simply EF. 
It's a free piece now. I think so. Yes. <coughs> What's going on with my throat today? Why am I speaking so quietly? Help. Yeah, but rook d7. Yeah, that's a free piece. Uh, I'll go here. So that he cannot take either rooks because I'll take his rook. And he resigns. Let's go! That was a good game, I guess. That was a good game. It wasn't Cosio. And I didn't even grind out four knights. It was an attacking game in four knights. Can you believe that chat? That was crazy. Yeah, but he gave me the G file. And then he gave me the center. He literally gave me everything to attack. Yeah, here was calculation some mad line. Uh yeah, Queen E2, Rook G2, King and then and King G2, Bishop H3, King G1, Rook G8, I'm mating. If King H1 I go Bishop G2, if King G2 Rook G8, I'm mating or winning a queen. And if King G1 I was thinking Queen H3. And then here, after the, when I was here, he played bishop e6. But yes, after this, this, and like bishop h4. Boom, boom, bishop h4, queen e1, I'm winning. That would be very nasty if that actually happened. But unfortunately, he was boring. And he didn't let me finish him in style with rook g2, bishop h3, bishop g2. And I end up getting the boring win. Whoa! Maybe I'm sorry. 65 months at year one. Thank you so much. Five years and five months. Appreciate it, Bimas Soti. How are you doing? How you do you think? Ooh. I mean, it's possible. Based off Hans's uh, recent performances, it is very well possible, you know? Ah. Beating Anish, like crushing Anish, beating Wesley in the same day. Uh, it's possible. But honestly, I feel like Magnus will win. But it's it, it, it is gonna be interesting if Magnus even decides to play, ah, uh, because in World Rapid Blitz, it, World uh, World Team Championships, Magnus didn't even play, did he? So maybe he'll say, ah, no, let let Arjun take my spot. And he's here to give the two ones up to all the chat. Thank you, Anis Gifter. Appreciate it. Because you can imagine that, right? He did, he may say, okay, give my spot to Arjun. I I don't want to play against Hans because so far. The only time I think Magnus played Hans in the past like year or two was title Tuesday, wasn't it? I mean, maybe they've met somewhere else, but I don't think so. Unless I'm mistaken, which I probably am. Because I just remember this 99 Berlin draw, 99.9 accuracy or something Berlin draw between Magnus and Hans. And I don't remember they playing ever since, but maybe they did play in some title Tuesdays. So it's going to be interesting if Magnus even decides to play. And if he decides to play, then it's going to be interesting who will win, you know? So it's an intriguing match. A very intriguing match. True, that that is true. That is true. Morgan, five gifted subs to the community. That's five. 115 subs in total. Soros, Ciro, Gege, Johnny D, and MP got them. Thank you so much, Logan. I appreciate it. And we got like a level 4 hype thing or something. Or level 3, I don't know. But we completed level 2. And I think that guarantees a new one for me. So thank you for that. Yeah, level 4 hyped. We even completed level 3. Guys, you're a legend. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate it. Level 4. Oof. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> when you... It's already almost autumn, right? And weather here was already pretty fine. Like 25 or something degrees. I mean, it's not the best, but it's pretty good, right? But for the last three days, it's like 35. Today in the shadow, it was like 35, 36. So it's very hot today. And hopefully, and it's gonna be for another week. So hopefully this week will be the last week of heat this year. Because mom, I mean, we had like a month of 33 plus heat. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully it will be the last week of heat. But then you also realize that when it will be winter, you'll probably miss this heat. So it's mixed feelings, you know? You want it to end because you literally cannot see because everything's like like your palms stick to each other when you're clapping or something. And then okay, that wasn't the best example. 
but this is closer sticking to you that's crazy hot but then you realize in winter when you'll be sitting like i don't know three hoodies or something you understand maybe summer wasn't that bad you know <laughs> 26 is and here we had 36 <laughs> you imagine 36 oh man you literally go outside and you're already sweaty, like, uh, before even, before even coming outside. <laughs> you open your door and you're already crazy sweaty, so you need to come back in because it's that, oh, Hikaru. Okay, chat, lock in, let's go. Okay, let's go, chat. Finally, Hikaru. Okay, interesting matchup. He doesn't go for one e a6, but he goes for e6, knight e7, knight g6. Interesting. Okay. I'll place all this stuff. Because this knight here isn't the best piece, since it can be targeted by h4, h5. And the opponent g3, d, uh, completely, completely, like, not distracted, but, like, bleh. Restricts the night. I am telling you, I'm terrible at uh, speaking while playing. Um. So we should be three. B three. Uh, the, the only thing is that he may play h5 and make me with h4 and this knight will be useful maybe with sacrifice himself with knight h4. Not sure about that, but we'll see. Should I sack a piece? CDDE? Is the compensation good enough? Not sure about that, huh? And it's gonna be content. Do I want this content though? That's a question. My heads are reaching to take take rook c1 and play a piece down. Try to uh, try to materialize on the on the weaken and castle king. But I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough there. That's the issue. And I gotta move something because in Sicario you definitely you should sure not you sure do not wanna uh, go into time trouble. Okay, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's go here. And now knight b5 can be an idea. Somewhere. Yeah, knight g4, and if I go like queen d2 h5, and if like h4, there is knight h4, that's what I meant. <laughs> Sure about Queen D2. Hype train and thank you so, so much everybody for the support. Appreciate it. And I got a new sm emote. That's a big W. But I will share it after the game. Uh, Knight B5 looks tempting. Maybe. Or no. Sure does, but it's not sure how tempting it is. How tempting to outcome <laughs> ratio is. I'm not sure if there is such ratio, but now there is. That's nothing. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's not great, <laughs> but okay, Fe, let's see what I can do. K 
Okay, for this I'll go queen of two. Gotta move faster. Oh, my pawn! Goodness me! Huh. Please under it. Let's go! Nice! Let's go, chat! Oh! Whew. That's a new emote, that's a pretty nice one. Yeah, I probably missed something at two seconds, for sure I missed some. I completely blundered the pawn. <laughs> Anonymous gift to uh, uh, <laughs> Anonymous gift to give the tea on sub to Angelos, thank you.
Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, I, pro I could have won. Bishop b7, c6, the rook is dead. I was actually winning. But then it was equal. I was better here. Uh -huh. Ah, right, yeah, a5, knight. Yeah, yeah. a5, if bishop takes knight c6, draw, I'm winning a bishop. And otherwise, I get a6, knight c6, knight b5. I, it's a draw guaranteed. I just got myself into tr many trouble, but I ended up... Uh, Holding it. <laughs> that was nice. I actually didn't check the accuracy, but I think it was like 90 something. Whew, child, that was crazy. Yeah, I was better. No, but I'm, I didn't see any 96. I had a5 96 first. Uh, because 96 can d6, a5 can 6 is fine. But I have to play a5 with 96. Whew. Ah, maybe instead of 98, 96. Interesting. No, but I don't have anything there. I know I do something. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Ah. Okay, there should be a draw. 96 BC. Bishop D6 CD. Yeah, I mean. No, I'm not sure. I'm too lazy to check. Nice. So I drew him from the second try. Not the first try, but second try is pretty good. I think still. Oh, bishop c2, bishop d2 mate. And now rook a1. Uh, yeah, it's over. It's over, bishop d2. Alright, chat. It's a break time. Grab a snack or a drink. I gotta refill my, I gotta refill my water because I'm drinking too much because it's so hot. And I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Take care, everybody.
Hey Chad, I got my watcher. Let's go. Can last me another four rounds. <laughs> Twenty-five bishop b seven. If uh, if rook b eight knight c six. But here, where? Yeah, here bishop b7, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then rook c5, yeah. I mean, I thought rook c7, and it's fine, but then c6, I kill his bishop. I didn't, sorry. Sorry, Logan. Yeah, I miss c6, and that his bishop, uh, his rook is dead, and then I'm slowly grinding it for a win. Because I can just keep my rook and the bishop protecting, and with my rook and uh, another rook and knight, slowly try to win it. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, from out of this position, which I, no, 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 out of like this position I had, I thought I would lose like in 20 moves, but I ended up getting the great pawn on c5 and, and almost winning, <laughs> you know? So, emote only. Take care, guys. If you rewind the stream or after the stream ends, watch the moment there. I actually considered bishop b7. Ah, but then I didn't like rook c5. I don't remember what I didn't like. I thought rook c5 and knight c6 does more, and I missed tt. I don't remember what I missed, but I was thinking about bishop b7, and I don't know why I, didn't, I decided not to play it. Because, no, rook b8, knight c6, yeah. I don't know, rook 8 pawn c6, because knight c6 b7 falls. I don't know. But yeah, I did have something and I missed it, but still. A decent result, I'd say. C4 gets bishop e3. Ay, ay, ay. is dead technically ah uh, but okay I, I i see a magic trick boom boom boom, boom and then i'll just trade everything i'll probably lose the end game <laughs> oh how, how magical was this magic trick uh but okay a6 seems like this i'm a pawn down but okay just a pawn you know just a pawn but in the car you get lucky that i got this knight of 698 idea and then if he goes king of 8, I get 97. And if what he went in the game, I get this 96. If king just sends a repetition, he had to go king g8. But then it sounds like bishop d5 was there. So he went f6, 98, f5, 96, and I traded and draw. But then it was actually scary when I blundered. I mean, I didn't really, like, blunder my bishop. I understood that it's coming there, you know? That this whole thing with uh, giving away my bishop is coming. Probably I could have played, like, bishop 8 and protect my knight. I didn't. I gave her a bishop and it was scary, but I got this h6 knight of 7 fortunately, and I got the draw. Ah, uh, that's a free pawn? I mean, now I'm not even a pawn down, chat! What could have I asked for f f three moves ago? Ah, oh, but now I guess queen b6. I mean, I would rather play a pawn down, you know, but okay. <laughs> queen b6, there is knight a5. Knight a5? Knight a4? Knight c4? Queen b3, knight c4. <laughs> so knight c4, there is b4, knight d2. Uh -huh. Okay, knight c4, knight d2. It's the first step. Uh, or not, I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe I should play bishop f8. 
get rid of the bishop from d6, but what if he doesn't trade then? Then it won't be great. Uh, 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 knight c4, b4. Take, take, bishop, I take on d6, I take on c3, I'm a pawn up. Is this good? I'm not sure. Knight, okay. Knight c4, he has bishop b7, which I, I missed for like 10 minutes. So, yes, let's maybe simply play like b5 or something. But b5 also creates a weakness. I don't know, maybe I should just... But Kinesian gives us b4. I don't know what to play. In b3 there is bishop b4. I have knight c6 if, some, if if I don't see anything after bishop b4. Okay, knight c4, bishop b7. Uh, if I bishop a6... Okay, knight c6 it is. <laughs> I think at the initial why I somewhat lost it somewhere. But it's still okay position. Okay position since he has a weakness on b2. I think it's around equal. Yeah, I was thinking bishop of 8, because I dislike this bishop a lot. It's annoying. He took. He took. Okay, it looks it looks like it's heading to a draw. Uh-huh. I'll try something. Fun fact, it says it was Sicilian defense played by was knight f3, knight f6, g3, g6, bishop g2, bishop g7, castle, castle, and then it's somewhat transposed into similar-ish positions to Sicilian, and it says it was Sicilian. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, king g8. And yes, queen e7 is the draw, I guess. Okay, queen b7. Hold on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Queen e4, queen e5, queen g7. If check queen g6. I have an outside passer. Maybe it's yeah, concerned about f5 though. Okay, I have queen d3 check. That's gonna be huge. Queen d3, queen f5, he can resign. And if he takes, I go queen e6. And then queen g4 is a possibility. Queen g6. Uh, that's annoying. I guess this and queen e6 should be okay. Ah, yeah, this and queen h6 mate. There you go. Okay, that was a nice grind, not gonna lie. Quite slow and steady, but that was nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I completely blacked out for a second. I thought I blundered a pawn and I have to take e5 and try to win this. It's winning, of course, but then yeah, queen h6 simply. That was a nice game. <sighs> ah, oh, let's go. Emote only off. Oop. Eighty-nine Yeah, it was slightly worse. I was plus three here. What could I have done? Queen d5. What? Ah, queen d5. I thought actually I'm losing in this end game, but apparently I am winning in this end game. I have to take ed so that he doesn't promote. Yeah, okay, that's a bit, a bit uh, crazy. Yeah, against Icaro I got better towards the opening. Then I got worse here. 
then then this is and I could have pushed for a win I had no time, I ended up blundering the pawn I missed a5 and I blundered the pawn completely bishop c2 I would be uh, pushing a bit for a win no I'm not I think it's ending today <laughs> I think it's like finishing or, or, or it's already finished um, this is this I thought I was about to lose because I had like no time on the clock at all so I thought okay well okay I lose it was a good fight then knight f6 this is this Okay, if king h6, I can go easy, knight d6, so knight f6, I'm fine. King g8, I can go... Okay, I check him, and if he goes king here... No, if he goes... Wait. Ah, no, yeah, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Here, if this, I check, and he goes like king h8, I have bishop c4, king g7, here, here, here. He, I ruined his pawn structure, and it should be a draw. It's, I understood that it's most likely going to be a draw when I managed to play e4, because he, he he cannot take this pawn with his bishop. The only pawns he can take are these two, uh, but it's really hard, and I can always play g4, h5. And I understood, okay, well, here I got king of 8 knight d6. Yeah, here, no, here I, I, I didn't play professionally. I saw, uh, oh, okay, game started. Okay, that was quick. That was very quick. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll continue after the game. Black again. How many games did I play black today already? Okay. the line. He's a b3 pro, but he's stinking on move 11. Chad, did I get him out of my of his prep? <laughs> Would be good. C2 it looks a little bit cocky. Like, pretty cocky. If I don't pull it off, it's not gonna be good. Uh, just like an idea for if I don't get my queen out. He has rook c1, bye bye to my queen. So perhaps, perhaps, I'm gonna simply take and play rook 8. Yeah, it's boring! Okay, I don't care. Ah, that's not, that's not boring, it's just annoying. <laughs> it's not boring, but super annoying. Mm, bishop g6, I guess? Yeah, why not? Right, so I gotta play take and play c6. Oof. And like a five. Bishop b6, bishop rook d8. I mean, eh, it's fine. It's playable. It's definitely better than uh, f5, knight b5. You can resign. <laughs> you know. Mm, f5, I suppose. Bishop f5 just doesn't. Rook f4, I think, is there. Mm.
have 4 h5 rook h4 yeah. like have an option to sack the pawn i might actually do it rook f4 h5 rook h4 bishop e6 he takes i get a5 b5 a4 <laughs> but i'm just saying i might do it i'm not saying i will do it i might because he he will have double pawns on d and if he goes with his rook to like b or some or file or something okay no, he doesn't have double pawns. And I do have my double pawns, so okay. Let's go e5. Stick to my plan, you know? a4, b5, a4, a, b5, something. Suppose b5? Mm -hmm. I guess so. Mm-mm. I don't need my rook on h8 currently, since he isn't threatening the h7 pawn. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotta move maybe B4 fixing this pawn, um, but maybe it's not a good idea. This can be a weakness for me. Okay, I think I'll trade one pair of rooks. Ah, he goes with his skin here. Rook F2, Rook C1. Mm -hmm. I uh, rookie one is, uh, but rookie one I take so it's upon B three. Yeah, now I cannot take rook b2, rook c1, rook b3, yeah, sure, why not? King h4, I can meet with king g6, I think. I don't know what pawn to keep. <laughs> I thought for too much about this move, for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm, I mean, I look like myself. That's not good. <laughs> Okay, somewhat unpinned myself. draw i think i was slightly better somewhere i messed it up but i think at the end it was maybe even worse so i don't mind the draw whatever sure i take it he against Icaro. okay fg was better but i think i didn't play too too well i should have simply played 95 and i'd have three points but i played 95 and it up with two points and i saw like uh but after yeah when he when i got king of five king of five if i understood okay i cannot lose this uh, but yeah i could have actually played 95 immediately without creating a, a wheel you know, just just take an 85 and I'm actually slightly better so says <laughs> funny enough. But yeah, I'm happy with this game. Whew. Ninety-five. 
Okay, I wasn't even better. I was like zero zero eight, so it was pretty smooth. So I was slightly worse when I had doubled points, but I ended up playing well, and it ended up being a draw. Yeah, so maybe I was winning here. Yeah, King G six mistake. Should I play King? I know, but King E it is illogical. I understand maybe it's better, but it's illogical, like really illogical. F four, five. Ooh. And you, 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 you hold it by like only moves. Ooh, you, go, you suck this pawn, you push. Eh, no, I think I'm happy with, with the way we got draw. Because the only way for him to play for a win was rook b6 and f4. And apparently king on e8 is better than f7. Huh, that's not for me, huh? <laughs> that's definitely too complicated. <laughs> Challenge Hikaru to blindfold duck chess. Maybe. I'm waiting for a challenge from him. <laughs> mm, crazy game. How many games are remaining though? Pro probably not much. Oh yeah, two games. Yeah, is this is a draw? Since if the king would be on b1, it would control two squares and it would be a loss. But as the king is on d1, it controls only one square. And the bishop cannot control two squares at the same time. And if the bishop goes to c1, you simply go to c3. I oh, know you go to the c3, yeah, c3, bishop d2, or any square except h8, and you get the second diagonal. Yeah. Why just cannot let black play king c3? King b3. King e2, king b1, and they did let black do it. Ah, they even lose their bishop. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, this game is going, but it's not going full on. It's king g6, rook a7, or king f7, rook a6, draw. <coughs> okay. How many points is Magnus on? That's a question. Caro isn't on 5? What? Let me see. Magnus is in 5. Ooh, chat. Ooh. <laughs> Hikari is in 5, I think. Hikari is in 4.5. Okay. Imagine Magnus and Hikari in the same tournament. Bling, bling. <laughs> Too many walls. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. I play this guy a lot in Leeches, so I understand. I know that he's Papa C, but then I'm really terrible at pronouncing Greek names and surnames, so I will probably mess it up completely. So I will let you try to pronounce it. Oh, Arjun, okay. Magnus's opponent in the speeches quarterfinal. So not quite Magnus, but almost Magnus, you know. <laughs> Ah, interesting. I mean, I guess I'm taking. Interesting line, huh? B not
key. I ended up from the opening. I thought it was a brilliant, but I think I'm not going up. No more comments. <laughs> let's 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 go. Let's not talk too much. Let's realize the point then we can talk. Uh yeah, I think Queen of Three is the best. No. Uh-huh. that loses a bishop. E6 at 95 immediately, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. B4 looks too... No, not, not great. Maybe. Okay, castle. So at least my bishop isn't hanging. <coughs> and if three, I'll take, because I threw eight bishop be two. B6. There's some queen to radius in case. Queen B6, queen E2 works, I think. Think he blundered? B6 was a genius move! I was like, oh well, he cannot blunder queen b6, queen a2, surely, right? He did! <laughs> okay, don't mind if I do. <laughs> no, but the opening choice was poor. I mean, I thought that's a brilliant tip, but then, okay, bishop c4. If he goes here, uh, yeah, okay, 86, I didn't play perfect chess, but uh, the idea is like this is 96, bishop c4, right? If takes, I either have queen b3, bishop f7, or bishop f7, queen b3. So, yeah, this, then I go b5, his knight is terrible. Yeah, the idea, uh, the idea with b5 was if this, this, I simply am a pawn up, and if this, this, I go here. I took a, b, but if the rook was, there was no knight, I would have taken with the bishop, I would be fine. So this time I ended up messing up stuff. I thought e6 wins here, actually, and bishop e4. Uh, but what was annoying is knight e5, and I'm losing, I think. Because this thing's with check, and this kind of fight is in the place, and he wins. Definitely bishop e4, this is this. Castle, maybe some misses, b4, but then b6, and then he ended up just landing a rook. <laughs> Nightmare, you asked, and I already said that I think it's over. And if if it's not yet over, no, I'm not gonna participate. Did Magnus lose or what? Now Magnus play. Maybe there is a possibility to play Magnus. Okay, it doesn't look too great though. P6. 
appeared? What is this opening? Okay, please give it a train line. 150 attack. Okay, I never knew there was a 100. I, I mean, I know this opening now that I look at it. But if somebody said, do you know the 150 attack? I would say, huh? Are you strange or what? <laughs> but okay, there is 150 attack in chess, apparently. Magnus wanted mate. Okay. Yeah, Peards. Yeah, yeah, but I was like, what is 150 attack? I read Peards. It was like, how do you get 150 attack in Peards? Okay, this should be winning for white. It's not winning for white anymore. It's winning for white again. Yeah, you just gotta trade the queens, queen d6, queen d5 or something. Ah, you win a pawn. But, ah, I wouldn't give up the momentum of checks uh, for just a pawn, you know. I'd go like queen d6, queen d5 and somehow trade the queen. It's a draw. Told you. Boom. Two out of ten, maybe, totally juvenile. If he would play normal openings, because this game he was just playing some weird opening. So it's like five moves from winning white when completely losing. That's unfortunate. If you're playing like normal 30, 30 line prep, I would probably lose like... Ah, with crayons. Ah, I'm terrible at drawing. So probably, so probably still not good. <laughs> like, if I can draw a stickman, if I can draw a stickman and people will call it good, I'll be happy, you know? It's like, if, to understand how good I am at drawing. If people say my stickman is good, it will be like the biggest compliment for my drawing. <laughs> like for me to draw an actual good flower, it takes like 10 tries. And still it will be ugly. So my drawing skills are absolutely terrible. So, yeah. Rookie five draw no. Okay. But I'm not lying, I'm telling the truth. <laughs> I mean I'm not good at drawing one thing, but I'm going draw I'm good at drawing in chess, you know. If you ask me to draw, I'll draw. <laughs> but actual drawing I'm terrible at, so I mean you can't be good at everything, right? You can be good at every drawing. I can be good at drawing something, but I can be good at drawing something else. So, mm, it's always the golden, golden middle in life. <laughs> okay, now White will try to draw this for 10 years. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. I'm absolutely terrible at drawing. Like, probably if I draw some shit, some, some, some people would say, I'm good at eating. <laughs> no, but probably if I would draw something, people would just say, did a three-year-old draw this? Or like, <laughs> did a newborn baby draw this? Or something, because I'm so terrible at drawing, you don't know how terrible I am. Okay, that's the final game. Emote only. Ah, no, it's that's hurting. Ah, that's annoying. When your eye is itching like crazy, you itch it like crazy, and it's that's hurting. Like it's sore. That's annoying. <laughs> it's like three seconds ago, it was itching like absolute bad lad. I used it like it was an absolute mad lad. A little bit sore. Ah! That's his second eye. Ah. Gosh, that hurts.
่ะนี่ไฟฟิสซัมบูดอุดรีนาวกีดีซีนี่จะมีพอนไอ้ฉันก็ต้องใช้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้What about this? DC and is a rook on it. Oh, there is a bishop on it. Falls, I think. Why is still sore, unfortunately. Should I take bishop a5? Maybe. There is no threat, right? Like bishop g3, knight d7 or something. I think so. Knight d7 will protect the rook or simply move the bishop. But if bishop g3, I can either, either go knight c6 or knight d7. Seven, uh, ninety-seven, eighty-seven. Nothing hangs. Does yeah? Think nothing hangs. Twenty-nine hundred chat. Let's go. Let's go. Finally, twenty-nine hundred. Yes. Yeah, but okay. I mean, he was better. He was at least slightly better until just c3. Just play bishop b3, he's better. I mean, okay, it's more or less equal, but I kind of dislike this position. Like, 97, at least c... I mean, I am never win at this. He's the only one playing for a win because I have double pawns, so technically, yes, an extra pawn. Uh, but fortunately for me, I played c3 and just blundered. Yeah. See, Magnus is playing. And he's losing. Okay, he tried to sack and he changed, but he got no compensation for it. opponent has 15 seconds so anything can happen in this 15 seconds because you can blunder with three minutes on the clock <laughs> but with 15 seconds it's much more likely you know especially when you're playing against Magnus because there is some pressure you know 
I mean, you're playing Magnus and you're in time trouble. Like, I was so shaky when I was, play when I was playing Hikaru. I just in the position, it's like, dead draw, he can do nothing. But he has like 15 seconds, I have like 2. I like, ooh, that was terrible. I barely made the moves because you don't know if you should. Because I was making moves like barely with like 0 0.3 seconds sometimes left, I think, or something. So it was crazy. So, yeah, playing this strong guys in time trouble is definitely not the thing you want to do, even if you're completely winning. Because not only you just make some random moves sometimes, uh, not only that, you also need to not blunder your clock. Okay, f5, I don't think it's a practical move because of g5, exactly. Just showing on the king side. <laughs> yeah, Magnus should have had like g5, I feel like, to open up something. Because, okay, this, this knight is dead. That's the good thing for him. Because not, even from g8, it cannot go anywhere. So if he somehow gets like bishop of one e four or something, no, he, no, 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 ah, okay, then the pawn isn't hanging. I'm blind. Yeah, bishop of three. If somehow he consolidates and gets his pieces active, uh, then the knight is dead and he'll win. But it's tricky because now Magnus will also be in time trouble. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, now Magnus is lost. I think even with three seconds, his opponent should be able to win this. He cannot win, he has slight square bishop. If you have dark square bishop, maybe something's possible. But with slight square bishop, nah, nothing's possible. Rook d1. Rook d1. Or rook c1 just cut into king and push the g pawn. Yeah. Yeah, but f5 was a mistake. But then he found out the way to completely kill the knight on h6. But then, yeah, he just... Uh, whew, he just uh, gave his opponent a chance to trade rooks. So that wasn't good for him. Okay, I'll switch your body pronoun. The clash of blames. I mean, the names are funny. <laughs> I think they got copyright striked by clash of claims too, right? So they had to change it to clash of blames. <laughs> I think it was something like this. I think it was clash of claims too, and then, and then they had to change it to clash of blames. <laughs> Because I think uh, the 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 organizers of the first match copyright strike them uh, them for using their name without asking. That was funny. Yeah, the king is just cut off on the A rank. Rookie eight, rookie seven, draw. Okay, this is a draw still. Now black will play before and lose. One day. <laughs> no. Okay. Now rookie seven, rookie six, draw. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Chat. Wait. Very. No, I closed the break timer. I wasted my break. No. 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 I need this thirty seconds of break. Hold on. Okay guys, I'm again out of order because I'm drinking way too much today. Grab a drink or a snack or something. I'll be back. See you in a few minutes.
Chad, I got the water. Let's go. I mean, I didn't feel fully because it just three rounds, and I don't want to explode after the stream <laughs> because one and a half liters of water. Oi, no, no, no. One and a half liters of water in two hours is a lot, considering you're like recommended to drink two liters per day or something. And I drank now one and a half liters before I drank two bottles in like two hours. So I'm not gonna drink full bottle. <sighs> But it's hot, so that's that's the, that's that's my reasoning behind it, you know. That's that is true. That is true. That is true. That is true. Agreed. Okay, chat. Emote we go. Emote only we go. I'm probably gonna play high six and a half pointer, and it's probably gonna be Xion or someone. I know, playing a seven pointer. Okay. I thought lowest because we had. Uh, odd amount of odd amount of seven pointers. I thought that the lowest would play the highest of the six and a half pointers. Okay, whatever. A oh, London guy. It's annoying that I cannot take this pawn because I love grabbing pawns. But that's the only pawn I cannot grab because then he will take h7. And that is not great there. The consequences are good. This f4. But I cannot prevent f4, can I? Mm -hmm. Let's try this. Uh, not sure if it's great. Yeah, knight c4. I saw that also. Couldn't prevent it. I gotta go b5, but I can't. And uh, knight e5. And I may have to play it. But it surely doesn't look great considering he'll get c4 square for his knight. But otherwise, f forty five looks like he's just gonna suffocate me. Yeah, it's definitely not the best. But if I get my bishop on d six and he will never get his knight, oh gosh, he's he's getting his knight uh, to to c four. Maybe something like this. I mean, I can try bishop g five. Ah, but then he gets knight ac, so that's just a waste of time. Um, blah, 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 blah. g3 will likely... No? So g3 is likely to be played, but no. It's okay. Okay, he takes this pawn. Uh huh. He's not scared. Maybe there is nothing to be scared of. <laughs> okay, I'm a bit low on time, but it's okay. while trying to hype up the chat atmosphere, but Moobot times him out. Classic Moobot, what can I say? That's like the most classic case of Moobot there was. I'm not sure if I should have kept this bishop or 
do what I did, but okay. Let's see what I'll get out of what I did. Open G4, keeping pressure on E4 pawn. Mm, can I take? Not sure. Mm. No, I can't. What do I play? Maybe Guinea Chate. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I think I had a good position, but ah, his points were too annoying to deal with. Okay. I mean, yeah, I'm not sure if I was like winning. I feel like I definitely wasn't worse, but his two bishops and two pawns in the center were too annoying to deal with. Unfortunately. Okay, I wasn't better, actually. Here Stockfish says he was equal. I had to take knight d3 instead of bishop f6. After bishop f6, I slowly but surely got a much worse position. Even though here I thought he was equal, I was already lost. I should have kept the bishop. Yeah, okay, queen f6 seems like b5. Uh, but, no, okay, of course I saw knight d3, but after queen d3 I wasn't sure what to play. Only move is bishop h4. And bishop c3, I go f5? Oh, and the difference between bishop h4 and bishop g5, because now he gets f4, I think. Yeah, but after bishop h4, he doesn't have f4, so I have f5. Wow. Okay, that's a huge difference. And bishop h4 is the only move to not to lose in a fine position. And okay, bishop g3, take, take, bishop g5, that's a draw. Yeah, I would have held that, held that. But bishop h4 is a bit tricky to find keeping in mind that you play f5 and if you take and if it takes you take 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 your opponent down momentarily but then you get b5 yeah okay that was tricky okay but after that if i uh, after i didn't see it 
it wasn't great already. Alright, Hikaru is on 7.5, Magnus is on 7, as it sounds like from Totally Juvenile. Or is he on 6.5? I think he's on 7 now. Did he leave? Did he? He may, he may have rage quit in the tournament. <laughs> no, he was on 5. No, no, I cannot play Magnus. Because uh, before break he was on 5. And now even if you if he if he didn't rage quit and still plays, he's on six. So maybe next round if if let's do. Okay, emote only. Now, of course, he'll play e5, yeah. I, th I think here knight b3 is a fine move. Since he has no bishop on g4. Yeah, now go a4. Uh huh. What if I go here? I'm not sure that's a good inclusion or not. I'm not sure about capturing. Huh? Blood nurse a bishop. <laughs> Let's be careful. Let's be careful. I thought bishop takes and then bishop c4 is an interesting idea. But I almost did uh, bishop c4 immediately. And that wouldn't be an interesting idea for me. I mean, my opponent show would be happy with my idea. Uh, but I wouldn't be so much. <laughs> okay, knight d2. Okay, I want to get my knight to e3, uh, b3, if I take on knight c4, knight c4 looks interesting, knight c4 looks interesting, but I'm not sure if it's good, <laughs> I should play e5, shutting down the position, and like knight f1, One knight of one now, seeing what he does. No, oh, knight of one. Knight of one it is. <laughs> I'm not sure, I mean, e5 may be a weakness. <laughs> now I need my knight, like, on d4. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I was trying to get it to e3, now players change, and now I need to get it on d4 immediately. I give the chess. G3 looks like I can go to F2, so and I protect E1 rook, so let's go to G3. Yeah, but now I can take E1, uh, knight here, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. 
He has two bishops. The position is opening up and I have a billion weaknesses. That's not great, but okay. I can trade queens, I completely forgot about that. And I think I'll go in h1, making him trade on my trumps if he plays on d4. I think in h1? To see if he wants to trade or not. c7 hangs. No, don't lie, please. Should be five, should be six here. E4. Uh -huh. I don't know what to play. <laughs> I would love to pass the move, but I, if I gotta play, I play like Kinich too. <laughs> I don't know what else. Because I like, I'm, I'm happy with current tension. Maybe that wasn't good though. Queen of five. Uh, no. Okay, drop. Ah, I'm not sure. Queen of five didn't feel good. Take, take queen of six or something. Mm, yeah, okay. So is plus plus zero point four for him. Yeah, okay. Okay, draw was a good decision. Yeah, I think it was fine. A fine result after this position because it surely did look terrifying. He has two bishops. I have weaknesses on c three b three, but I think I handled it pretty well. I think initial was a good move. Maybe Stockfish isn't doesn't agree. Okay, it's actually second. It's first. It was the best move of Stockfish Chuck. What can I say? I thought it was a terrible move because I just didn't know what else to do. But it's the first line of Stockfish. Let's go. Yeah, because I, I like the tension. He cannot take because this I win upon in b6. Mm, I don't want to move my bishop because then b6 will hang. And I can move my knight because my queen will hang. And I can move my pawns because I lose my pawns. So can you two? Let's go. <laughs> and I actually thought it was a bad, bad move. Okay, 94 accuracy from both of us. Pretty clean. I had plus zero eight here advantage. I uh, I was thinking about something like this: take take bazillion takes knight g four. I thought about it, but I was like, okay, give away a pawn. But what if I don't have enough compensation? Now that I look at it, yeah, he does. His dark squares are absolutely terrible. So yeah, this pawn would do something, but oof, like seeing the five moves behind. Looked a little bit concerning. Oh no, Chad, my bad! I forgot to move only off. Mamma mia, I forgot that. My bad, Chad. I didn't see Karma's pineapple pizzas. I thought I turned it off, but I probably typed emote only on. Yeah. 
Have you agreement with everyone? I mean, you asked me how good am I at drawing, didn't you? <laughs> I remember you asked like half an hour ago. How good are you at drawing? There you go. It's 10th round. It will be 11th. I oracle on it. Why not E7 mate? <laughs> I feel like I may throw this actually. Okay, no. I'm like, yeah, you're late for the party. But you're still in for the treat for the last round of the tournament. So, guys, strap in with your seatbelts and it's gonna be exciting. But you missed most of the fun already. <laughs> How it really can't I won against Arjun. But still, there is one more fun round left. If not, you can you can rewind the stream either here on YouTube. Feel free to do it <laughs> if you miss the party. Da -da -da -da. Just try to study every day. Tactics at your level. Tactics are the best. Okay, chat. Lock in. Last round. Why are you saying announce? I'm saying e. How E is announced? Hello, Twitch. Okay, chat. Lock in. Oh, against Ginger GM. I would say learn tactics. Tactics at 1400 level is the best. He usually goes for some wild stuff, but here he decides to not go for wild stuff. Okay. You think you'll have some gambits and stuff. But yeah, it's last round, you know. <laughs> In the last round you don't want to go for some, I don't know. I don't know what. <laughs> like kids gambit or something. It's the last round, you gotta lock in and win. And with gambits it's not really the best thing to lock in. Isn't the best opening choice to lock in. B5, B4, C5, Knight E5. It actually looks fine because my bishop on E7 is there. He has bishop G5. That doesn't look so fine. <laughs> okay, B4. Okay, not the best position to the opening, but whatever. All, all good shot. No worries. Maybe I should actually play C6. A, not C6, H6, I mean. E595, so there is no knight h5. But it can be also a weakness. Yeah, queen c8 was a terrible decision, I feel like. Alright, I'll play queen d8 so that e5, bishop g5 is an, an idea. And that if rook c1, I have rook c8. And, uh, and yes, e5, knight c5, there is no knight b6. F fork. Queen c8 was a terrible move. I should have played something like knight e4, and I think it would have been fine. No e4 stuff for him. But okay, whatever. I blunder a pawn. But then I get e4, so I don't really blunder a pawn. I blundered it, but it ended up not being a big blunder, you know. C5? A C5 I cannot because of D takes C. Maybe H6, but that may create a weakness. That's what annoys me. Maybe Knight D6, but then, then it allows Knight H5 and Knight C5. <laughs> Chad, this position looks scuffed. It looks very scuffed. Mamma mia, maybe A5? Then Queen D5! Ugh! <laughs> oh my goodness. Everything I do creates some weakness, it's annoying, to say the least. Uh, and maybe 695 is there, very annoying. Yeah, and I, Queen D8 was such a terrible move, 94 I would have simplified easily. <laughs> but now I'm here, so let's play from here. Okay, let's go E5, whatever. I just gotta make a move, I don't see another move which wouldn't create more weaknesses than this, honestly. Yeah. Okay, take and then queen e8. It looks not great, if you ask me. But oh 
Okay, chat, it's blitz, anything can happen. Uh, to lock in, play with less comments, you know, to lock in better. Yeah, f5, no. Oh, wait a sec, f g6, f5, rook f6? Or should I sack an exchange and accept the fact that I sack an exchange? Like uh, queen c6, huh? It's like I sack an exchange now and have more or less solid position in exchange down. Or I don't sack it now and mm. Okay, I sack it now. Maybe it's not good, I don't know. Oh he doesn't knight c three? Rook d eight I guess. exchange already. Time is slow again, oh goodness. That looks like a disaster. Okay, but let's go lock in and let's try create problems for him. Doesn't look good, chat. Mm. Okay, hold on. Hey, no, don't lag. No, 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 no.
No, what did I do? No! I waited for Bishop B2 and Bishop B3. What a throw. Oh, no. What a terrible throw at the last second. No, Bishop B3, it's a draw. Oh, no, chat. Oh, my goodness. I came back from dead loss. And I still blundered it like the stupidest way possible. No. Oh dear. Yeah, that's a terrible finish to the tournament. Such a good tournament, yet so terrible finish. Mm. Ah. I mean, I came back from like that lost position like three times, and I still end up losing. I was actually winning. Bishop and five, that was winning. No. <laughs> My God, what happened in this game? Why did I just play Bishop? Just go King A. It's something. King A one. Wait, King A one even draws. Why did I panic? Oh no. I panic so much. Like any move. Okay. Any move. Bishop B3, King A3, King A1. But that's like three moves out of seven. I <laughs> give a check but from the wrong way. Oh man. Yeah, but the simplest one would be King A1, of course. Just so that he cannot ever knock me out of this corner. <laughs> Position attack. <laughs> I mean, it was. I mean, yeah, technically, yeah, it was, it was calculated. Mm. Yeah, but King A1. It's so funny, when I'm watching people play, you're like, oh my goodness, how can they draw this? Like, that's you just go kd1, kd2, and I played with your mate 7. <laughs> you learn tactics, pretty much, I think, go on leeches and then solve puzzles there as much as you can, and you should be good to go. Okay, what place did I get? Oh, I stole top, top 1 from Hikaru, guys. Yay! <laughs> and if I would have won that game, if I would found bishop f5, I would have gotten... What tiebreaker do I have? Oh my god, I am on seven and a half. Where am I? <laughs> I threw the tourney so hard. I have 70 tiebreaker. 70 tiebreaker with eight points would give me 20 years. And with eight and a half, it would give me seven... Oh no, wait, wait, wait. wait. It would give me ten. Oh no. Uh, that's, I think, David Antonio or someone. Oh, no, it's Latasa, okay. Chad, if I would have won that game, I would have been top 10. What a throw. And I had the chance. Guys, I mean, thank you so much for 1,500 bits. Ah. And if I would have done, I would... Okay, top 20 doesn't sound that great, does it? Top 20, I was in top 20 like three times. But top 10. Top 10. Just had to win. It was a good tournament. It's just completely thrown off by a terrible blunder in one move. I still ended up being 39s, but oh my goodness, why play Bishop H7? <laughs> yeah, it was 6. Yeah, that was a throw in the last three rounds. Uh, yeah, but goodness me, Bishop B3. <laughs> I completely forgot about the rook on the 7th rank. But yeah, what was nasty is the way to win Bishop F5. Rook G3, Bishop B4, this is winning. And rook f5, I go king g6, king g7, and this is winning. Thank you so much, Carlo, for 250 bits. Ah, bishop f5, such a move, such a beauty. But I thought, okay, draw is fine. Here I wasted time, I saw bishop d3, but I'm like, oh god. Ah, but rook h5, king g5. What was I spending my time on in time trouble? I wasted it so much. Oh, but Bishop of brilliancy. And I'm very seven blunderancy. <laughs> okay. But still a decent tournament. A shame that I didn't end on eight and a half. When I had the possibility to find Bishop of Five. But okay, still okay results. Drew Hikaru. Drew Adiban won against Arjun. He 2900. Fine, but not, the, not top 10. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, jokes aside, pretty good tournament. But yeah, last game was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so in the last game I had chance to get top 20, chance to get top 10, and I ended up getting top 40. Still not a bad result, but unfortunate. Okay, but, 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 but. Anyways, 2900 gotten, finally. Drew Hikaru, finally. And beat Arjun in 21 moves. That's pretty fine. And beat another GM who is 3020 moves. Pretty fine. 
and it's full of great content, especially the last game which you saw. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Time travel, I think, threw me off mostly. If I'd like, I like, I was like on two seconds, and what's annoying? I I don't know. Uh, I felt some delay, so like. And it's annoying because you just move the rook, yeah, you gain time. But here you have to be careful to not blunder your bishop if you move your king. But I had to move my bishop and I anyways blunder my bishop, so... <laughs> yeah, it happens, whatever. Okay, Jad, still good tournament, 7.5. But it's a good 7.5. Sometimes you get 7.5 like being, I don't know, uh, 4.5 out of 8 and then you win the last two games against 2500. But here I was playing against GMs, let's see how many. One. Two, three, four, five, six GMs. That's a pretty good tournament. And Hikaru beat Arjun. Good tournament chat. Whew. Okay. Oh, why am I opening my club? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching and for the support. That was a crazy stream. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was fun. Practice your drawing. I, ha I need to. I need to. I need to. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you so, so much, everybody, for watching and for the support. Uh, we got level 3 hype chain, appreciate it. So, let's see. Anonymous gifter of the stream, last two weeks, 7 gifted subs, appreciate it. Lorgan, resubbing for 27 months, a tier 1, appreciate it. Karmar, gifted a sub to the one and only legend, Mubot. Uh, then, Pokebra resubbed a tier 1 for 38 months, it's already 3 years and 2 months. Crash Dummy reach uh, 12 months, uh, for 30 months, 12 months streak. A year streak and 30 months in total, a tier 1, appreciate it. Logan, 500 bits. BMS only 65 months, that's 5 years and 5 months, a tier 1. Then Unused Gifted gifted a tier 1 sub to Alvim. Then Logan gifted up 5 community subs. Then Unused Gifted gifted a tier 1 sub to Angelus. Then Crash Dummy, 1500 bits. And Karma, 250 bits. Thank you so, so much everybody for the support and for watching the stream. Hope you had fun and enjoyed the content, especially in the last game. Last game was absolutely brilliant in terms of content <laughs> like I was I messed up the open and I was lost then I managed to equalize then I managed to lose then I managed to equalize then I managed to win it but then I did manage to win it and I managed to draw then I managed to lose so it was very contentful and eventful game hope you enjoyed the stream I didn't oh I didn't oh my goodness no I did 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 no 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 I did I did somewhere I think after the game it's Hikaru I did I, 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 I swear I did, I swear I did. No, no, I did, I did, I did. But it's, it was already that high above. I, I, I did, I remember it. It is some rock, okay, some rock, some guy dancing uh, two rock songs. Okay, good emote. Not the best, there were some best, but better ones. I love Hype Parrot. Let's see how many Hype Trains emotes I have. Mamma mia, that's a billion. Okay, I love this one. This is my favorite one. Probably out of all Hype Trains. It just looks, it just looks so... Um, I mean, it kind of looks trappy. Um, mm, mm, mm. There's not so many good type emotes. A shark is cool. Oh, this one! The legendary pug, right? This dog is called pug, isn't it? The, the, this breed of dogs is called, are called pug, right? And I'm not messing up the letters. I think these are... But okay, some cute dog. Yeah, I think these two. The turtle and the dog are my favorite. Oh, yeah, that's a good one as well. <laughs> that's a good one as well. That's a very good one as well, for real. Um, yeah, laughing turtle. Ah, the giraffe. Giraffe is also nice. Uh, yeah, other ones are boring-ish, you know. They're yeah, good, but boring. These three are the best. Just love it. You're here for the third time for the third stream in a row <laughs> asking the same exact question. No, he didn't. Oh, well, anyways, guys, I gotta wrap this string up. It's too hot. My PC fortunately didn't flow to space, but it definitely heat up the room very much. So I gotta turn it off <laughs> as quickly as possible. Thank you so much, everybody, for the support. Bye, Pookie. Bye, Karmar. Bye, Crash Dummy. Bye, Tubular Chick. Bye, Totally Journal. Bye, Bexby. Bye, Lorgan. Bye, Gege. Bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. Everybody who was here, if I missed you, I'm sorry if I did. Take care, everybody. Bye, Pure Chess Lover. Wait, the chat isn't scrolling. Hold on. Lorgan. BMAPS Naughty. Casual Swift. Pookie. Yes, I think I said Pookie already. Uh, Oracle and Wit. 
Um, Giza Chess, then Poker Bros. Wait, wait, here, here. The chat goes on for a while. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. That's a shame. That's a shame. Bye, Merles. Bye, Insane Piccolo. Bye, bye, uh, Brass. Bye, bye, everybody. Totally journal karma. To bless you, everybody. Bye, Anton. Take care, everybody. Thanks, Gege. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. Take care. Thanks for the support. Hope you had fun. And I hope to see you all next time. Take care, everybody. And bye, bye.